Enforcement Directorate has provisionally attached 41 immovable properties of Mehul Choksi and companies owned by him with a market value of 1,217 crore rupees under the Provision for Money Laundering Act. Times now has accessed the complete list of properties that have been attached by the Enforcement Directorate. So, uh, big action coming in from the ED, uh, provisionally attaching 41 immovable properties of Mehul Choksi and companies that have been owned by him. The market value of these properties is said to be 1,217 crore rupees under the Provision for Money Laundering Act. Times now has accessed this complete list of properties that have been attached by the Enforcement Directorate. Nikunj, clearly this is a huge list of properties that the ED has now attached. Well, Madhav, yes. And this is a list of documents that I have access for Times Now exclusively. Our colleague Amita may be trying to show it from the newspaper uh, uh, in, in some time so that the viewers can have a complete comprehensive uh, look at the properties that have been attached uh, by the Enforcement Directorate in its latest tranche of action against the Nidam Modi and Mehul Choksi group of companies. Now, it appears to me that this is in terms of movable assets, in terms of immovable assets, this is the largest attachment or the financial law enforcement action taken by any of the financial law enforcement agencies, be it the ED or the income tax or the, uh, <clears throat> or the Central Bureau of Investigation, which has also seized certain assets in terms of uh, liquid assets at least. So this uh, is uh, the biggest action overarching uh, uh, covering almost all the immovable assets that Mehul Choksi and his group of companies have owned in India and uh, are still uh, in the name of either the proprietors or the firms owned by these individuals. Now, issue of provisional attachment is that unless, the, uh, unless these two individuals who have been repeatedly summoned and against whom now the Enforcement Directorate is trying to secure a non-billable warrant from a Mumbai court, present themselves in front of the enforcement agencies, that is the enforcement directorate and the CBI, this provisional attachment which would automatically, uncontested, become a final attachment because that, that, those are the provisions of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act.